cracking, guys? Welcome back to Broken Sword. Okay, so we've spoken to Rosso, and got some more information on Pegram. Uh, now we're going to head to Nicole's, or Nico's, uh, see if uh, Andre Lebanon is there. See if he can give us more information on the parchment. Or at least the pictures of the parchment anyway. Or we could go to the hospital, even though that says Hospital. Uh... Uh, should we go to Nicole's at a hospital first? Let's go to the hospital. See what we can find out at the, the hospital. The old building managed to retain some of its original grandeur, but the modern additions look like a baseball cap on a statue of a medieval saint. Ah, maybe. So it does. Tens at what? I felt a little guilty as I tried the door. Like I was about to rob a grave, I gripped the handle with an involuntary tremble in my hand and pulled. The door was locked. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hi, my name's George Stobar. Pleased to meet you, sir. Call me George if you like. Are you sure? Yeah, that's my name. My name's Benoit, but everyone calls me Bunny. Bunny? That's right. I used to have this cute habit when I was a kid. Uh, keep it to yourself, Benoit. Your first name wouldn't happen to be Chris, would it? <laughs> Do you know anything about a patient named Marquet? And no, sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. Okay. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. I've never seen him before. Shake my hand, Benoit. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. How come? Dermatitis. Well, I don't have dermatitis. I do. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah, nothing else is going to help right. me in this situation. So let's go talk to the receptionist. See if we can't flirt our way there. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Is this the Hagenmeyer Clinic? That's correct. I thought I was in a garden center. Oh, the plans. They were my idea. A little greenery to evoke the spirit of nature. How may I help you? Has Marquet been visited by a man in a clown costume? Oh, no. You haven't seen a man in disguise? Well, there's Theodore the Bear. He comes every Thursday to entertain the children. Personally, I think he scares them half to death in that crummy old bear suit. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last person I'd want to see. Has Marquet had a visit from a pair of gangsters? I should hope not. Can you describe them? A thin guy who looks like a weasel and his friend, the gorilla. Sounds as they escaped from a zoo. I'm here to see Jacques Marquet. Oh, yes. Are you related to our client, sir? Uh, yes? Yeah, I'm his uh, long-lost Long -lost. brother. <laughs> Brother, half his age with a different name and an American accent. Yeah, people always say that. I blame Mom. We were separated at an early age. After a mix-up in the nursery at the Oakland shopping mall. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in all my life. I guess not. So, do I get to see Marquet before the funeral? That attitude will get you nowhere. My instructions were quite clear. No one gets to see Marquet. So unless you can prove you're a relative or a close acquaintance, you're wasting your time here. Have you seen this man here at the clinic? No, sir. And I never forget a face. I'd like to shake you by the hand. Don't be fresh, young man. Young man, you look young yourself. What does this gem suggest to you? I advise you not to flash that around. The hospital insurance wouldn't cover it if it was stolen. Look at this ID pass. So you're Merlin. Marquet's been asking for you. For me? Yes. 
He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. Now, let me see. He was on Ward B12, as I recall. Oh, he's being transferred to... Oh dear, he's on Ward J2. That's... What? Nurse Grendel's ward. What's so bad about Nurse Grendel? She runs that ward like a South American prison. Keeping a well-disciplined ward isn't a crime, is it? Well-disciplined? In the discipline and punishment stakes, she'd whip the butt off the Marquis de Sade. Everything, I mean everything, is done to a strict routine. Six o'clock, alarm call. Six ten, bowel movement, and woe betide anyone who doesn't have a result. Those patients of hers are like Pavlova's dogs. She sounds like a real nightmare. And then some. If Nurse Grendel is that bad, how come the authorities tolerate her? She's like part of the furniture. Oh, you mean she's been here a long time? No. I mean there's not a man in this clinic who hasn't sprawled out on her. I was beginning to get the picture. This woman was jealous. With a big green capital J. How do I find Nurse Grendel's ward? Down the corridor on the left, turn right at the senior consultant's washroom. Right again at the executive coffee lounge. Bear left past the administrator's sauna. And turn left at the end. That's J2. And good luck. Thank you. Thanks for your help, ma'am. You're welcome. Woo! Let's go. So she's a Southern Belle. It, she didn't really say. She didn't As I turned the we corner, I saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed through the corridors. It was an industrial polishing machine with an odd-looking guy in tow. Hello. What's that? I said hello. Oh, hi. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. That's what I oh thought you said. God Don't look fucking them down in the mouth. No matter how bad things seem, I never let life get on top of me. Oh, yeah? What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile and whistle this little tune. You know what? If you start whistling, I'll bust you in the teeth. It's a deal. God, anything's got to be better than going out giving me a bloody... Birmingham. Do you know a nurse called Grendel? Sure I do. Is she on duty today? Yeah. End of the corridor, Ward J2. Have you seen any unsavory characters lurking about in the quarters? No, sir, I haven't. But I've got nothing to worry about. What's that, Mr. Shiny? You'd take good care of the rascals, I bet you would. With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. Would Mr. Shiny be your polishing machine by any chance? Please, don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. I've had Mr. Shiny for three years, and he's never let me down once. How come you got so attached to a polishing machine? I asked you not to call him that. He's got a name, you know. Uh, yeah, Mr. Shiny. It's just that... You think it's odd, don't you? No, I, uh... I don't mind. The rest of the staff think I'm twisted. I heard them snorking behind me back when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. Whatever you've got with this metal muff foot, is probably a fine and noble thing. It is. Say, it's not every day I meet someone as crazy as me. Until they find him fucking the thing. <laughs> Do you know where I'd find a patient called Marquet? No, I'm not allowed on the wards with Mr. Shiny. I wonder why. Okay. Uh... Meet us. See you later. Yeah. Take care now. Okay. Can we go in here? Hey now. You can't go in there. 
How come? I'm responsible for the contents of that cupboard. Hmm, well I know there's one, if I remember correctly, there's one way to get in there. A few minutes later. Oh, we're straight back here again. If I remember correctly, we unplug, go this way, he comes around here, and then we can go through the door. As I tugged the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Quick, in the door. Hmm. Dr. Stobart at your service. Hmm. Dr. Stobart at your service. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. Oh, huh? No whistling, right? Right. Also, I'll kick you in Nothing your really. fucking teeth. There was no way I could improve on the sculpture with the janitor watching me. What? Well, can we do that? I can't remember. What? What do you mean you don't know? No. I guess we can't do that anymore. Maybe the face of the unaccountably happy domestic had made me unduly suspicious. I mean, I knew it was only my imagination, but the water tasted, well, peculiar. Few minutes later. Few minutes later. Okay, I think we're going to get lost. Okay, uh... Is it down this one? Yay! There we go. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, hi. Is this Ward J2? Yes, sir. The patients are ready for your inspection, Doctor. Uh, thank you, nurse. Well, who's first? Monsieur Croquet in bed two. What's his problem? He's been complaining of loss of consciousness. You'll need this, Doctor. She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Hi, I'm Dr. Stobart. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. The nurse told me you keep losing consciousness. That's right. I've had the problem as long as I can remember. It's a real out-of-body experience. Like death, but not so conclusive. I see. How long does it last? Just a fraction of a second, and then I recover. I might not have been a doctor, but I was formulating a diagnosis all the same. This guy was nuts. I know exactly what you mean. It's... Known in the medical field as blinking. Is it serious? Of course it isn't serious. It's perfectly natural. But, but just think. 
two seconds every minute. Why? <laughs> That's almost half an hour every day. Two weeks out of every year spent in total darkness. I don't have time to listen to this baloney. Which bed is Marquet in? <laughs> He's round the corner, in solitary. What's the matter with him? I don't know, but the men who brought him in were wearing masks and rubber gloves. Hey, you're a doctor. <laughs> how come you don't know? We doctors don't know everything. Then how come you act like you do? The reassurance of patience. Has Marquet had any visitors? Nah, <laughs> neither have I. That's the worst thing about being in hospital. You feel like the rest of the world has abandoned you. Well, you know how it is. Life goes on. Thanks for those comforting words. And Do you know what this piece of equipment is called? No, I don't. Well, no, goodbye. I don't. Thanks, Doc. Hello again. Do you know what this piece... No. Oh. Ooh, can we shock him? Hello again. I thought about giving him an elect, but I just couldn't do that to a sick. That's a shame. <sighs> uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. What's his problem? He's delirious. He just now came out of theater. He's recovering from major surgery. I'll have him up and about before you can say, Lazarus, get out of your bed and walk. Hello? Anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? You better believe it. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was... Tossed out like a common squatter. Whoops. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor. What's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. I've no complaints. The woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. Do you recognize this red nose? Doesn't that belong to Boissy? No. I found it in a sewer. He's a clown, you know. You wouldn't think so to look at him now, would you? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. Uh, who is it? A cold-blooded killer. Really? He's a dead ringer for my bank manager. Of course, Mr. Soames hasn't got a scar. And he doesn't come from the Middle East. His hair's a lot grayer, too. Otherwise, it's just like him. Remarkable. Isn't it so? I thought about giving him an electric sh but I just... I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. See you later. Doctor? What is it now, nurse? Number two again. He won't tell me what he wants. He says he'll only talk to a man. Do I have to? That guy's nuts. Doctor, I'm surprised at you. There's no way to talk about our clients. Okay, okay, I'll see him. But I'm telling you, he's a hypochondriac. Hello again. <sighs> What's the have you any time? idea what this is? Please, take it away before I throw up. I thought about, but do you know what this piece of a no? 
Do you know what this is? Is it self-raising flour? No. Have you ever heard of the club Alamut? Nah, I haven't. Do you know what this tool is used for? Eye surgery. That's a dumb thing to say. It's not sharp enough. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? No, Doctor. Does this gem mean anything to you? No, Doctor. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, nah, Doctor. Who is it? A cold blood. One of your colleagues? <laughs> no. He really is a murderer. Oh, I've never seen him before. Do you recognize this red nose? Nah, I don't. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thanks, Doc. Anything else, nurse? Do you have any clowns on the ward? Why, yes, we do. A professional clown. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Hardly. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. Oh, that's kind of not what I meant. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt involving a unicycle. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. It's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown again. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Oh, oui, monsieur. He is in the private room at the end of the ward. He has been placed in strict isolation. Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. All I know is that Marquet's room is strictly out of bounds. Do you know who paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I don't. Mm. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir, monsieur. Okay. Who did she say we need to speak to? Her higher mind? Doctor! What is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. Oh, balls. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. Anybody else want anything else before we uh, carry on? Oh, Doctor. Oh, what now? What now? You didn't finish taking my blood pressure. I just have. Okay, let's try again. Just because doc one doctor did it one way doesn't mean that the way he does it is wrong. You don't have the first idea what you're doing, do you? I'll come back when you've recovered your manners. Are you going to continue asking? Hi, it's me. I'm going to take your blood. Why? I'm a doctor. See you later. Okay, are we just going to get stuck in a loop with this? You haven't finished taking... Oh my god! Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? It's because he's got money, isn't it? It's not like that. I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. Now can we go and see Marquet? Raise your hand and I'll fucking chop it off. You have That's it. You're dead. Pressure. Oh, 
nurse, can you take his blood pressure for me? Because otherwise I'm just going to strap this round his... Otherwise I'm going to strap it round his fucking neck. Pardon me, nurse. Oui, monsieur. Oui, monsieur. What is this device? It's for taking the patient's blood pressure, doctor. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir, monsieur. There's only duct tape around. <laughs> you haven't finished. How do we do this correctly? Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. Because he, he's getting on my absolute tits. Hi, it's me again. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. I'm a doctor. It's my I'm job. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. Okay. He keeps asking, but then he keeps. Have you any Could idea we... what this? No. Doc. See you later. Could we combine it with something? Uh, that is. Hmm. Well, it seemed like a good idea. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Uh. N hmm. 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 Ah, so we Hi. can't take his me again. blood pressure. Okay, let's go. Actually, we need to talk to Hey Mahara. I don't know what his name was. Because there was another guy in the lobby that we didn't talk to. That just appeared out of nowhere. This guy. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Aha, just the man. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bernie, come here, boy. This is Benoit. My nephew. Can I trust you to look after him? Do your own babysitting, Gramps. Who do you think you are, anyhow? I am Felix Hagenmeyer. And may I say what an honor it is to meet you in person, sir. You are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pasteur and Leary. I look on it as a privilege. No, an honor to look after your nephew, sir. He is fresh out of medical school. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Eh, uh, what? So long, Hagenmeyer. Hey, Benoit. There's no need to shout. What do you want? What do you want? Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean I'd get my hands dirty with the nurse. Shut up, Benoit. Okay, sir. Come with me. Follow me, We're Benoit. going to the wards. I'm right behind you. Maybe mm, he's a, a professional doctor and a trained doctor. I wonder if we can give the bl bleh, 
the blood pressure thing to him. So he can uh, give this annoying prick in bed three. She is Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir, monsieur. Yes, I will say au revoir to you, and I will say au revoir to all of you too. Because that's the end of the episode. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully next time we can find a way to give him his bloody blood pressure. I'm guessing we give the thingy machine to Benoit. That's funny. Uh, I wonder if we can give the uh, the 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 pressure blood pressure thing to Benoit, and then Benoit can give him his blood pressure reading properly. So then we can go over here and uh, talk to Marquet. But that will be for next time. So, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, again, I'll see you all next time. And as ever, bye-bye.